Okay, hi, welcome to today's episode. Today we're gonna to put in a security system into the ambulance. This is called the Cyclops Security System. It's an anti-theft avoidance module. Basically you install it inside under the hood and it prevents anyone from starting the car. So if somebody tries to hotwire it, which is quite easy to do on these older vehicles, this will prevent it from starting. So let's get started. Okay, first I'm gonna pop the hood. Sometimes it's hard to pop this hood. I've gotta reach under these bars. I got this big uh, bumper guard here on the front. I gotta reach in between there. And we're going to look for this power distribution box down in here. Before I get it all installed, I wanted to show you what the system components are. This is the module you're going to be changing out. You take the one out of your car and you're going to put this in. Here's the directions. It's a security systems Cyclops theft avoidance module TAM. And then it comes with two remotes. Here's one, there's another one still in the bag here. And uh, the idea behind this, how this works, is when you have this module in, your car won't start. It'll turn over, but it just won't start. And then what you have to do is you have to press this button and hold it while you're turning the ignition key. And then that triggers this module to turn on, and then your car will start. It also has another mode uh, where you could be, have it be in an automatic mode. You can set the remote to, to where when you come close to the car, it will then start when you use your key but I'm going to keep it in the uh, what they call the manual mode so I have to press the key while I'm turning the key to ignite this or to turn this on so then it starts the car so let's go get it installed now in one of my other videos I had showed all the different camera mounts that I use uh, to be able to film down in here I'm going to use this mount here I'm going to clip this let me see, on to the edge of the hood up here, and then orient this camera. Let's see the angle we got here. Down. Okay, so here's the power distribution box. I've taken this off, and now we're still recording down into here. Let me unlatch this real quick. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit tighter. Going in here, we got a little bit of a sun flare. Let me try to see if I can get the other camera to zoom into here at a different angle. Basically, okay, this is the module that we're gonna be putting in. Unfortunately, the directions don't say which one of these six modules up here this goes in. Also, right out of the bag, I don't know if you can see this here, this is slightly bent. So I'm going to probably have to bend this back because that's not going to go in like that. There, that's not too bad. And uh, I'm not sure which one of these six modules this goes in. So let me try to figure that out. So with a little trial and error, I figured out that it's of these six modules, it's this one right here that needs to come out. I need to hurry up. I think they're about to cut grass next door or something. So this module pops out and then we're gonna replace it with this module right here. And that just pushes in and then that should be good to go. So we replace this module with this one. Now some of you have made seen before of what I've done with my truck for security reasons. I've been chaining my steering wheel down here to the bottom of my chair. So if someone did hotwire the truck ever, they couldn't go anywhere. You can't turn the steering wheel. So hopefully this new module security system is gonna make it so I don't have to keep <laughs> chaining my steering wheel up. So it is installed. 
Let me move this out of the way here and let's see if it works. Okay, I'm gonna put my key in. Right now, it should not start. If this is working right, the car should turn over, but it should not start. So let's give it a few seconds. The ignition turns on and that is not starting. So it's doing what it should do. Now I'm gonna take this remote. This is what the remote looks like. Let me see what's the best angle here. And I'm gonna press this remote. Now I'm not sure if I have to press it and do the key at the same time. Uh, let's see. Whoa, bingo, there it goes. So all I had to do is press the remote, the little light lit up, it sent the signal up into the engine, and it works. So then if I shut the car off, take the key out, and they said that it will auto, auto arm itself in about 30 seconds. So let me wait 30 seconds and we'll try this again. Okay, I've waited over 30 seconds. I went ahead and mounted this camera in a different location here so maybe we could see a little bit better. I'm not holding it this time. And we'll stick the key in. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna turn it, it should not start. And it does not start. Okay, I'm going to come up here and press the button again. It lights up and bingo, starts up good. So this looks like it's going to work great. Uh, I hope it's going to last long and be something I can rely on. So everything worked. Uh, we installed it, tested it out. Here's what it looks like once again. I opened up the other package. It comes with two remotes and some directions that don't actually tell you which module to change out, but I showed you. This was the module I took out of the truck and replaced it with the one that came with the setup here. It's got a little tag with some directions on how to change it from manual to auto. I'm going to keep it in manual. And, uh, there you go, so if one remote goes out on you, they do have uh, replaceable batteries, so you can change the batteries out on them. Uh, but if one goes out on you and the batteries die, you do have another one. If you know where it's at, you can grab that. So now that we have this working, <laughs> it's officially time to get rid of this chain. The ball and chain. No more, no more chain in my steering wheel. Okay, a little bit about what we're getting ready to do to the truck. Uh, our videos have been a little bit slow coming because we've been working a lot. We've been driving the truck four or five days a week working. Uh, we do weddings on the beach and so on. But we're getting ready to be near our end of our season. We only have a couple more jobs left. And we have a lot of stuff that's getting ready to go in the ambulance. I've got uh, six 200 watt solar panels that are going to be going up on the roof. We're going to be covering that whole installation. So 1200 watts of solar. I was originally going to put two 100 amp uh, SLK batteries in here, but I decided to double that. So we have two 206 amp SLK batteries on order that should be here uh, within the next week. So those are going to go in here. So we're going to have a little over 400 amp hours of lithium batteries in here. I also have on order a Victron Multi Plus 3000 watt inverter with the uh, 70 volt charger so it can charge batteries when you're plugged into shore power. Uh, we'll be installing that plus a Victron 150 solar amp control, uh, solar charge controller. And of course fuses, breakers. Uh, another item is I'm gonna be taking out the uh, panel on the outside of the truck here where it plugs into power 
and replacing that and upgrading it, upgrading it to a 30 amp plug. So if we go stay somewhere at like an RV park or somewhere as a 30 amp plug, we can plug in 30 amp and then that's going to go inside to another breaker box which then feeds into the multi plus then out of the multi plus into another breaker that feeds into the electrical system in the back. Uh, then also we're going to put in our walls, our ceilings, 12 volt lights. Uh, we have a lot of work to do in a short amount of time. We're going to try to do all of that as much as we can in November. Some of it might be pushed back to some in December and even January because we are going to take a trip uh, possibly uh, sometime in late November. So we have a lot coming up. Uh, please like and subscribe to our channel. And uh, hey, I'll see you next time.